Right now we're cooking some juicy, juicy burgers and Sharon loves pineapple, so we had to get some pineapple going. And we're doing an early dinner tonight. Myla is helping cook, right, Mama? Say hi. Say hi. How long after um, we met baby, I had to go on deployment? A month, it was that fast? Wow, so we just like barely met. We had um, a lot of fun. We, you know, went to 6th Street, went on a few dates. I took her to the movies. We had a really good time. And we just like naturally grew our connection. And then I had to go into deploy deployment. I went to Iraq for five months and then Kuwait for four months. Um, and then the whole time, me and Sharon were just like FaceTiming. Like the whole time, every single day that I had, I had a chance and she had a chance um, with FaceTime. When, when Sharon woke up, I was like going to sleep and then when I was going to sleep, she was waking up. So that was a difficult part about deployment, but we made it work. And even, even through the distance, we're there for each other, which was awesome. And sweetest things that happened to me when um, I was on deployment, I think I was in Kuwait at that time, was, and it was on Valentine's, was Sharon sent me a care package for Valentine's with a whole box of like chocolates, notes about like, I love you so much and all those like sweet things. So when I opened it up and get this, like we did not see each other for probably at that time, seven months. So getting something from her was like super special. And when I opened it up and had everything inside, I think there was a teddy bear too, which was super sweet. Uh, I do, I even still have that teddy bear somewhere. Um, small things she did um, when I was on deployment helped that time go by so much more um, faster. And like the sweet texts and paragraphs that she sent me every morning was like amazing. Um, I couldn't ask for a better girl. You know, she's done so much for me, been by my side through so much. And yeah, so that that gift I got on Valentine's Day was just another reason why you know, I felt more and more in love with this awesome woman. The day that I came back from deployment, um, you know, I had to take, we had to take a big airplane back. We had to, after landing and getting our luggage and everything, we took a bus straight over to this field in the base and everybody came out and saw their families and it was a very, very beautiful moment. Uh, Sharon was working at that time, so, you know, I didn't get to see her right away, but as soon as I got to my car, I drove to H-E-B, which is a grocery store in Texas, and she met me there, and you know, I, I was like shocked because I was like, whoa, she's very, very small. I was <laughs> like, she's four or nine, and, but I, it was like nine months, and I did not remember how small she was, how petite. And so when I saw her come out of the truck, I was like, oh my God, she is so, so cute. And she came out of the truck, and we just hugged so tight, and, it was one of the happiest moments I've definitely had. Uh, nine months of being in the combat zone and just being away from her, just to see her, uh, just, it felt amazing. And yeah, deployment was, it was crazy. That's another story. So if you want to know more about the deployment side of me being in the army, just let us know in the comments. But other than that, that's our story and us making it through that part. We love you guys so much, y'all. Peace.